Hello everybody, and I'm Chris Goss here, also known as Captain Creations, and today, we're back in Undertale, where last time, we heard the hopes of the people, whose lives we've been wandering through so far, and today, is the final corridor, it's not even a save text, there hasn't been, let's walk a bit f further, and... So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for your every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It, it's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. There's a twist right there. A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. Flowey told us about it at the start. It stands for a level of violence. I mean, that's kind of cheating right there. Because the last letter of the acronym is the last letter of a word. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. It's that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refused to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. <laughs> now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will affect Nico, I mean, will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. Or if you kill Asgore and go home, Montas will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. You didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so long as, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. At first glance, you never think such a funny skeleton man would be so important in the end. Actually, though, before I progress any further, I want to check something, because I think there's something here. Hold on. Just like the higher pitched. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. Good luck. Wait a second. That look on your face while I was talking. You've already heard my spiel, haven't you? <laughs> I suspected something like this. 
you're always acting like you know what's going to happen. Like you've seen it all before. I have, in fact. So, I have a quest for you. I kind of have a secret code word that only I know. So I know if someone tells it to me, they'll have to be a time traveler. Crazy, right? Anyway, here it is. I'm counting you to come back here and tell me that. See you later. Alright then, now if we do that again... Step right up here. The high pitch bells though. So you finally made it. Huh? You have something to say to me? What? A code word? Can you speak a little louder? Did you? Just say, I'm a stupid doodle -doo butt? Wow, I can't believe you would say that. Not only is that completely an infantile, it's also my secret code word. I'm an idiot, baby. That, however, isn't good enough. What you need is a secret secret code word. It's only for people that know the secret code word. Anyway, here it is. Wimsfer. I'm counting on you to come back here and tell me that. See you later. And now we do it again. Hello again, old friend. Do the bells get any faster, I wonder? Probably not. So you finally made it. Huh? You have something you to say to me? What? A code word? You speak a little louder? Did you? Just say I'm the legendary fart master? Wow. That's, uh, really childish. Why would you think that was a secret, co secret, secret code word? Whoever told you that is a dirty liar. Just not a dirty brother killer. I don't have a secret, secret code word. However, I do have a secret, secret, triple secret code word, which you just said. <laughs> so I guess you're qualified. Here's the key to my room. It's time you learn the truth. When you looked, the key was already on your keychain. Okay, I don't think we need to do that again. So if you, you didn't catch right there, I was basically restarting the game from the save point, close the game and restart. It's not going to show on her thing. Yeah. Response. Alright, so now we need to head all the way back to Snowden. So I will see you there. It's a long walk. Tra la la. I heard Asgore is a favorite food. And we're here. Right then, so off over here to Sans Pirates' house. Hello there. Oh, hey! You're leaving soon, right? Don't come here to say goodbye. Goodbyes aren't allowed in my town. Just see you later. Oh, that gives me flashbacks to River Song. Hey, punk! What's up? That's you! Okay, no, this is all the same. I have standards. Alright then. Now I gotta walk around a long way. Can I? No, okay, not yet. <laughs> Sun stepping here. And Sans gave us the key to his room, so you unlock the door and enter. Oh, you can head right back out. in the middle of the screen now. It's like the tower in one shot. Creepy wind noise. Oh. Hey, Stans, have you seen my... <laughs> oh, hello. You want Stans? Wait a second. Why were you, why were you using a treadmill in the dark? 
It's, trans it's sense breaking you across time and space. <laughs> I, I hate it when he does that. How immature can you get? As you wonder what he's done in the past of this sort of thing. Also, have you seen my action figures? Wait, I know where to look. In my collection. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a genius. All the time. <laughs> it's a treadmill. There's isn't method attached. The truth is that you got don't heard. <laughs> I used that once. It's Santa's dirty sock pile. Sc scandalous. I think Santa wears slippers most of the time. Oh, although we can walk into that. It appears to be a self sustaining tornado of trash. Hey, prepare the spaghetti in there. Don't be rude. You can see a coffee, some paper, some books. It's a worn mattress. The sheets are bunched up in a weird, creasy bowl. That's one way to store your blanket. It's an uncovered pillow. It's a thank you letter. It's addressed to Santa. Nice. It's a lamp. You turn it on. Yeah. There's no light bulb. A flashlight is stuck in the bulb socket. You turn it on. Yeah. The flashlight is out of batteries. It's a lamp. Oh, okay. Let's look at these drawers. <laughs> it's out the drawers, a silver key. You put it on your keychain. By the way, I don't know how the heck people ever figured out. The thing with resetting in front of Sans in the final corridor. Like, how did people f how did people figure it out? The first person who figured it out, did they do it on purpose or an accident? Anyways, you unlocked the door and entered. There's a photo on the side of the drawer. There are photos of huh? A card is sticking out from the back flap of the binder. It's a poorly drawn picture of three smiling people. Written on it. Don't forget it. Interesting. Okay, can't look. Can't look at the other thing it said. So, you look in the drawer. There's some kind of badge. So, by the way, the the, the music right now is it's raining somewhere else, playing slow down like this. See if make goosebumps. <laughs> Blueprints. You can't read the symbols they're written. Maybe just the, ba the handwriting. Looks like they relate to some kind of strange machine. Okay, the same thing. There's a strange machine behind the curtain. It seems to be broken. So many years later, we still don't know what this is all about. Okay, how many years is it? I think Donner Tale released in 2015, so 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20. Seven years. That's a whole ocarina of time right there. Oh, wait, come out the front door. Okay. Alright then. So that just happened. Some interesting lore implications. Alright then. I'll see you back at the castle then. Because we're done out here. Also, in between episodes, I, I went and re re restocked my items. I got a fair assortment here. Sorry, I will see you back in the castle. Hotland, please. game you can play with a dog. Asking for a friend. And then there's fetch. Uh, and we're back in the final corridor. That's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nice, it was a nice little detour we just went through. Unfortunately now, we have to face the music. It's time to face destiny. Throne room. own entrance. However, if you go over here first, it's a little slide th thing to see. Down this long set of stairs, which is a very reminiscent of this in Delta Room. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. It's a little nigh. It's empty. Right then. It's time. Okay, you're gonna get one last call. No response.
Dom de dom. Oh, there's someone there. Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. How can I... Oh. I so barely want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But... You know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. This is it. This is the end of the path. That we warned about so long ago. At the throne. It's another throne, covered by a white sheet. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. The end. It's truly, this is the end of the path. But we have no other choice. We've done everything there is to do in the underground. It's the only thing left to do is to leave. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I'm ready, sir. I see. This is it, then. Ready? Strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Asgore attacks. This is it, the final battle right here. Asgore, let's check it. Attack. Any attack, any defense. Oh, no. No descriptions about him. That's it, that's all we get. This is stats. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Yeah. Okay, I gotta learn the fire patterns. Oh god. I'm already dying. My nose itches, it's not on time. Asgore, you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Oh god. Oof, oh. Can't, hurt. Can't mercy him. We just gotta go. Put on the bandage. You reapply the bandage. You recover 10 HP. Blue and orange attacks. 
Outscore is the only other monster besides Pyro to use orange attacks. At least for now. Your friendly have Outscore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Outscore's attack dropped. Outscore's defense dropped. Okay, fireballs. Multiple directions. Okay. Anything? Is that. Is he just talking about doing anymore? So we're going with that beat. Oh, speaking of beat, what is that one game? The Super Hexagon? Okay, but now. Okay, well, we have no choice. It's time to fight. Press E when the line's in the middle. That's right, you have no choice here. You must fight. You have no other choice now. This is why you always. Collect weapons along the way, you're gonna use Undertale. Because you never know when you'll be forced to fight. Oop. Yeah, do quick thinking there. There's no words to say. Oh, don't. Do. Okay. Well, now, we're going to. eat the pie. You ate the butterscotch pie. Your HP was maxed out. The smoke bar wanted an Asgore or something. Asgore's attack down. Asgore's defense down. Yeah, right. That's all the preamble you can do there. You save Torio's pie from the beginning of the game for that. And now, it's just, we're all in now. You just have to fight. Win. Yep. This is it now. So, okay. The super Hexagon. Oh, this is just spinning now. I've never played Super Hexagon. I don't have a little practice with that. So, just keep fighting. There is no way out. Blue, blue, orange. Still, still move. There we go. I was like, does he always wear that armor underneath his cloak? Like, we've never, we never seen him in the cloak without the armor, so... Interesting. Also, like, looking at his face... And this, this battle sprite is weird. Like, he's facing down because he can't bear to look at us. Like, trying to interpret what his face is in this sprite right there is kind of weird. I probably zoomed in by this point so I can look at it for a bit. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of weird, anyways. Oop. I missed a little bit there. Okay. Cascade. Ooh. I got hit there. I almost didn't get hit. Oop. Is it random which direction it comes from? I will have the instant noodles. You better try. You should use Max now. No, okay. I don't just a preamble once, I guess. Oh god. And then. Yep. Good progress. He's a quarter, third of the way down. No, I wasn't paying attention that time. Shoot. I was too busy talking to myself. Okay. Okay, angular fireballs. Oh, you cornered me there. You, 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 you pulled out your best card to me there, you tricked me. Okay, almost halfway down. Super, super hexagon again. Oh god, it's too fast. Oh. Okay. Hoop. Halfway down. Oh god, he's going faster. Oh. I, think, I think I can take one more hit before I have to heal again. Hoop. Keep moving. Okay, there we go. That was an easy tell. Oop. So, super hexagon again. Okay, I I got confused there. Whoa, that was fast. Alright then. I can't I can't handle this attack. Oh. I'll go for it. two HP. Sheesh. Starfay. Drink the Starfay. Card 14 HP. Oh god, I couldn't handle that one. That was too many inputs to register. Okay, let's keep on going. We can do this. It's now or never. Okay, uh, 
You're trying to confuse me there by doing the same direction multiple times. There are no words. We must simply persist. Oh god, I'm bad at this one. Oh god, 4 HP. Asgore has low HP, so do I. Uh, bicycle. Three stills in one move. Hoop. Nearly there. One or two more attacks, maybe three at most. I know his hands don't have clipping boxes, so that's nice. His hands don't have hit boxes. Hoop. There we go. <coughs> it is done. Oh. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then, I will destroy humanity, and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, <coughs> I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Everything I have done to hurt you. You would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface. Everyone's lives matter. Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... like a family. You idiot! You haven't learned a thing. In this world, it's kill or be killed. 